Welcome back. It's time for week 57 of the Shogi Teaching Ladder. Our first opponent is Escape Artist uh, from Thailand, 5 Don. Uh, I am slightly anxious, but either way we'll have a good game. We'll aim to learn as much as we can. Good luck. All right. Um, so, yeah, this is week 57 of the Shogi Teaching Ladder. Uh, our opponent is rated 5 Don. I'm rated 1 Don. I will do my best amid trying circumstances here. Um, Okay, we're going to play our favorite castle, which is Mino Castle. My opponent appears to be playing uh, Rapid Yagra. Um... Hmm. Okay, we're going to claim uh, this fourth file.
I see this silver moving up and this pawn advancing. And I have a plan. And I don't like my plan, but I have a plan. So let's go with the plan. Okay. Um, I'm starting to see multiple flaws in my plan. Uh, this is not good. I just don't understand. So, yeah, they're going to oppose on this file. Okay, that is extremely unexpected. What do we do? What the hell? Um...
I don't like this, but like I don't know what to do against their play. Um, I was considering opposing rooks here. That seems to fail by one tempo. Why am I not surprised? Okay. Um, it's still my most sensible course of action. I, just, I can't resist this. What else would I play? So the idea is that we're going to line up the rooks, exchange this pawn, and threaten bishop takes silver, forcing a rook exchange. Oh, sorry, I'm missing something in my overlay here. We're in time pressure. I'm going to go with the plan that I've been scheming for the last 10 minutes. If it's wrong, it's because just something about my understanding of this position is just fundamentally off. Yeah, we have a pawn in hand now. And our rook is on an open file. Our bishop's on an open diagonal. Um, Am I missing something? second.
I miss that the knight protects the slants. Well, that's a bit awkward. Um... Alright. Hmm. Thirty seconds. Forty seconds.
Hmm, I need better pieces. <laughs> Thirty-five. 
Oh. Uh, that makes this more difficult. Um. Sanjudio Sanjudio Yonjudio Sanjudio Yonjudio Gojudio
30秒40秒30秒。30秒。30秒。30秒。30秒。
30秒40秒50秒1234秒1 2 3 4 Oh Whoops Well that'll do it Um Right I made it here right Oh my goodness. Okay, I see this gold drop is made in one. I'm not allowed to resign on my opponent's turn. Um, the interface does not permit it. Alright, thanks for the game. Oh, well, that was challenging. Woo! Alright. So what are the lessons we learned from this? Uh, hmm. Oh. Zoom in slightly. Um, turn off emote only mode. Um, uh, if you have time, uh, can we review from the beginning? I don't know if they're tuning into the stream or not, but they're welcome to for certain. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, so, yeah, this, I don't know if it, in many cases my opponent just asked me to hand them the hat. This is some opening theory stuff that I think we played reasonably okay. I mean, it's kind of weird that my Rook and Bishop are lined up. Um... Yeah, I don't know. Something about what I did is not as flexible as it could be. So yeah, I've committed to a really firm shape over here and then ended up moving my rook a couple more times. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, well, that makes sense. Uh, yeah, that, that's cool. 
Um, apparently, if you build a Yagra setup, so uh, this looked like rapid uh, Yagra. So I decided to uh, try something here. I'm not sure what I tried. I forget. Um, so I guess like here I'm trying to set up this sort of thing. Um, um, not really sure what else to try. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Cool. Cool. Uh, I see. So this is... Yeah, I've not seen this Yagra shape before, so we're both trying something a bit ambitious today. And that's fine. In chess, I do that sort of thing quite a bit, too. Even in tournament play. Um, yeah, so that's the King 6-7 Yagra against Swinging Rook that came back and became right-hand fourth file Rook. Um... So, yeah, I have like this, I have this, I got this, that, this, a lot of things I could do. It's just not super clear. Uh, I suppose each might work, I don't know. I, yeah, this king 6-7 is a bit of a interesting strategy or counter. I should not have played the 4-1 gold. Okay. Ah. Okay. Yeah, this is a clear plan. Uh, okay. Yeah. Whereas I ended up severely confusing myself, um, and perhaps to some degree my opponent, but mostly myself. So, yeah. That makes sense. Um... Yeah, and this is just a really nice attack. <laughs> Putting pressure on the head of my castle. So, yes. Um, yeah. Um, solid defense on 6-5. Yeah, so that would be this one over here. Yeah. So, since that's so rock-solidly defended as a 6-6, um... Oh! Okay. Okay, that makes sense. Alright, yeah. So, I wonder if that means, like, I should just do this anyway. Okay, 
So, yeah, I can't do that right now. But, like... So, it's a long-term plan. I want to pin it. Okay. I see. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's a really powerful diagonal. Um... So, for example, if this bishop moves... Um, Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, I appreciate the valuation of that final position because like, clearly I can see a piece activity and initiative. I tend to be materialistic, so that tends to be overbearing in a lot of ways. So yeah, I can just keep this pin. So I should be patient. Uh, place moves like this and this and this. Something here or something. I don't know. Uh, yeah, moving this gold here is what eventually makes this position very difficult to hold. Uh, because there's bishop drops and rook activity and stuff. Um, in case it's not clear, I don't see Yagra every day, so this is why I'm just, like, surprised. Extremely surprised. Uh, and that's okay. This is a teaching ladder game. We're going to learn stuff. Uh... Yes, yeah, so he had advantage from Amino Castle, so he aimed to play his subway rook. Okay, yeah, right. Yeah, that makes sense. So he's got a nice long-term plan, and I need to find some kind of plan. That, and try to delay his plan, too. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, if I could have built the Silver Crown, that would have been nice. Um... Um, but, uh, oh, oh, this is kind of an issue here. Uh, yeah. Interesting. So, yeah, strategically, I'm in a very difficult spot at the moment, and I wasted a tempo moving the rook. Uh, it's a worse castle compared to me now, is his opinion. Okay. Um. It takes, uh, longer to build, for sure. Uh, not sure why else it's worse other than, I guess it might be vulnerable. Um. I move my ca Oh! Ah, right, because uh, your attack is already quite high. Yeah. Yeah, you've already cut this here. So Silver Crown's not going to help. Okay, so yeah... 
I just need to counterattack then. There is no <laughs> there's no repelling this attack. Uh trying to repel it's just gonna get me in trouble. So Play on the other side of the board. Yes, yeah. That makes sense. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, this is very clever. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, let's see. Hmm. One other, let's see, it's like way out here somewhere. Um, had an interesting moment. So, yeah. Uh, granted, my strategy seems, uh, lost. Um, I wonder if the Lancet 1, th uh, 9, 7 is crazy. Uh, the idea of being this sort of thing. I don't typically see this sort of play, but I don't know. Okay, promoted bishop 9a, yeah. Okay. Yes, I was considering it. Okay. Ah, there's the thing I was missing. Okay. Right. Cool. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this is nice. Uh, the teaching ladder is a great place. <laughs> uh, yeah. Fuck uh, in your other game. <laughs> yeah, you're going to be playing against uh, Lily-san. So, <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, hello. Uh, welcome. Yeah, we just uh, finished a teaching letter game with Escape Artist, 81 Dojo, 5 Don. So, yeah, that was something. We don't see that every day. Uh, yeah. Okay, so the way the game concluded, I just got swiftly mated by moving my castle into theirs, dissolving my castle, and watching everything burn. Um, so that's what we saw happen this game. Very nicely played. Um, thanks. Uh, yeah, this is an interesting opening strategy. Uh, so it's a bit unusual, this, uh, this here, King 6-7. So it's not quite Yagra, and he's going to transition, like he pointed out, to playing Subway, Subway Rook. Um... And push over here. So this is, uh, yeah. Yeah, 81 Dojo 5 Don. He's playing in our teaching ladder. Um, 
and today we got to give him a lesson, as he puts it. So, uh, yeah, it was it was good fun. He's so modest, uh, but yeah, he plays very strongly. So, I did my best, but both my strategy and my reading were outclassed. Um, it happens. We're hoping to get more folks in the teaching ladder so everybody has a chance to have lessons with uh, such strong players. Um, yeah, I'm glad that they were able to play this game with us today. Got to see some cool new ideas. Um, don't play this at home. King 6-7, this is risky. Yeah. So, I'm sure it's perfectly fine. It certainly worked well in the game. Um, it's kind of like how some people in chess, you'll play like the Frankenstein Dracula variation. Or you'll play like the Chinese dragon or some other kind of thing. Oh, what's the one when you play F5 against the, Sicil or against the Spanish opening? The Schliemann. Like all these things, they're okay. <laughs> there's like the Dutch defense. There's the Grob. There's the Polish opening. There's a lot of fun openings in chess that are not so popular. Here in Shogi, um, I'm guessing this, I'm faking that I'm going to play Rapid Yagro and actually I'm going to play Subway Rook. This is a novel strategy. Um, don't play it unless you've practiced it or unless you're in the situation where it's a good time for you to try out a strategy. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, Damiano Defense. That one's a fun one too. Um, there's one lawyer who in the U.S. Open played it three times in the U.S. Open and won all three games. Um, so, yeah. It's okay, like, sometimes to experiment a bit um, when I'm in a chess tournament and I severely outrate my opponent. Sometimes I'll try an interesting or a novel strategy, too. You won't see me playing the Grob, but you'll see me try a lot of other things. Um, so yeah, here we have a novel strategy, and this, obviously I burned almost all the time of my clock trying to think of, like, I've never seen this before, what in the world do I do? Uh, but once we got beyond that point, um, I don't know, we made the best of our Biyomi time, our opponent came up with some clever resources, and then we learned that um, attacking from your castle like just does not work as a strategy unless you have a complete lock on that side of the board. And clearly here I do not have a complete lock on that side of the board. So I can't afford to do such a thing. Um, somehow I thought, hey, he put his king in the center, I'm going to go attack it. That didn't quite work out. Um, so yeah, a calmer way to address this would have been to be playing on the left side of the board. See if we can get something to work over there. As he points out, I have this pin. As long as I keep this pin, as long as he can't easily move this around, there's some things I should be able to do without getting crushed. So... Yeah, there's no need to panic right away. He's not trying to crush me in the opening. He's trying a novel strategy. I can just calmly put my king somewhere, not necessarily even to, to here. Like, maybe my king actually belongs out here. I never needed to really tuck it in, but because of the way I built my castle, my king was committed. Had I pushed the silver up first, I could have tucked the king under much easier, saving a tempo. Also, perhaps saving my king in the long run. But um, but yeah, building Mino and then facing a high attack uh, with their king in the middle of the board. Um, their king being in the center means I can't just launch an all-out attack on the left side because the king's not over here. And launching an attack on the right side, while it would open this diagonal, um, they have this point severely covered. So I missed my chance to protect this. 
if I saw what was coming just a little bit earlier here, if I had, when would it have been obvious? I think this is the point I should have suspected something was up. Around here, I've never seen this before, but I need a lock on this square ASAP. To get this square under my control, I can't allow this to happen. To prevent this from happening, I have to play something like this, which is risky. Like, of course, opening the diagonal on my Mino castle before I've even built it. That's risky. Uh, but this prevents uh, silver here, which would be able to cover the square. Completely different game at this point. I did consider this a little bit, and I was like completely freaked out because this pawn is extremely dangerous. And I had some suspicion that because he'd started to build this but hadn't tucked the king in the corner, that what he was ultimately aiming to do was build an attack on this file. Uh, so I was suspecting he'd actually do something crazy like this king over twin gold uh, might up and rook around to build an attack on this file. Because he hadn't built a castle, I thought he was going to do something crazy. I didn't realize he was going to do king 6-7, which is even faster. But, like, yeah, seeing something generally like this happening... I didn't want to push this, but now I see that this point is actually strategically important here. If I want to push and try to break their castle, or lack thereof, this is a good timing. Yeah, it was Sam. Yep, he's the one. He seems to be everywhere. <laughs> But yeah, he, is, uh, he played the Damiano defense in the U.S. Open. And, you know, if opponents were just prepared for it, that would be one thing, but they weren't. So yeah, at this point, it's too late for me to build this 1, 2, 3, 4. Um, I'm just out of time to stop that. And I would started thinking about stuff like... Um, bringing the silver up and pushing here to try to oppose this. And I was just, like, freaking out, because this is just such an unusual strategy. I could not figure out how to meet it with just 15 minutes on my clock. Yeah, he's, uh, he's well known. I'll say that. <laughs> yeah, I've read too much with his name on it to say complimentary stuff at this point. Um, so yeah, he... Um, anyway, separately, I've lost control of this point. I've lost control of this point. I do get my bishop able to do stuff on this diagonal, but... Um, yeah, it's going to take a lot of time and planning to undo the damage I did early in the opening, trapping my king in the corner putting my rook next to my king, thinking I'd be able to break this, and being clearly shown that I could not. It always works when other people play the rook here, but when I do it, nope. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, this is just a strategy mismatch, and very nicely played by Escape Artist. Uh, thank you for this lesson. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> yeah. I think that's a good summary, so we'll leave it there. Um, and yeah, I guess I'll be playing my other game this weekend. Well, I got my attorney to master game against, uh, attorney to, yeah, attorney to master against Abigail. And we got another teaching ladder game um, against another amateur player, so look forward to doing those soon. So. Hope you enjoyed this game and hope you enjoyed this lesson.